Hi everyone. We're going to read our first book today. Here with my dog, Dale. He's going to be in the background. So our first book is called Water Can Be and it's by Laura Purdy Salas. So before we start the story, I want to know, can you name some things that water can be? What are some of the different things? Like here, I have water. Water can be a drink. So what else can water be? Let's start the story. Water is water. It's a puddle, pond, sea. When springtime comes splashing, the water flows free. Water can be a tadpole hatcher. Anyone know what a tadpole is? A baby frog, good. And a picture catcher. So she's looking in the puddle at something, at herself. Does anyone know what that's called? It's called a reflection. Water can be an otter feeder or a downhill speeder. That's a waterfall. Remember when we talked about waterfalls in school? We even learned about one called Victoria Falls. Water can be a garden soaker. There's the rain you see. And a valley cloaker. So that's called fog. Water can be a thirst quencher. Who's drinking the water? Or a kid drencher. It looks like the kids are having fun playing in a sprinkler. How do you like to have fun with water? Water can be a drink cooler. So let's look at the picture. How can water cool drinks? Water can be a rainbow jeweler. Addison, I love that rainbow you painted. Water can be a home maker. So let's think again. How can water be a home? Water can be a ship breaker. Water is water. It's fog, frost, and sea. When autumn comes chasing, water can be a cloud fluffer or a fire snuffer. Firefighters use a hose with water to put out fire. Water can be a school drinker, like a water fountain, or water could be a bruise shrinker. When we get a boo, we put ice on it to feel better. Water can be a salmon highway, or an eagle flyway. What's this type of water called? Looks like a river. Water can be a storm creator or a decorator. Water can be a woodchuck warmer or a snowman former. Let's think again. How can water be a snowman former? Water is water. It's ice, snow, and sea. Now go and discover what else it could be. Does everyone remember when we painted with ice cubes at school? That was really fun. You could also try that at home too. So our last question is of the day is, how can water help you? Thanks for reading the story with me and I hope you enjoyed answering all of the questions. Bye.